Welcome back. By the way, did you know Armenia was the first country to adopt Christianity as its national religion in the year 301 AD? Listen, this is one of the first things you'll find out when you meet an Armenian. Because <laughs> trust, now, trust me on this. They'll also tell you that one of the oldest churches, if not the oldest church, yes. Christian church, yes. still in existence, is in Armenia. That's right. That mm -hmm. is right. Um, yeah. uh, so we're going to do these little factoids throughout the show. Just, you know, I think they're fun. They're they are fun. Very um, oh! I do want to give a shout out. Glendale has a new mayor. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, we want to say a big congrats to Mayor Artie Kazakian. Congratulations to you. And we're so excited. By the way, you can catch him every Friday at 9 a.m. at the Coffee Bean in Montrose. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of coffee and food, uh, <laughs> Tony, you keep saying you've never been to an Armenian restaurant. I've been to Zanku. Listen, so. that, I don't know if that counts officially, <laughs> but I've never been to one either. So I think we have to go together. Uh, little, little there, there's so many. Just take a pick. For yeah. example, yeah. today we, we're going to carry Carousel, right? I, I heard about this. I mean, so it's, it's like a, a Lebanese, uh, Lebanese Armenian, Armenian restaurant. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's where Brooke is, no doubt, has already eaten them out of house and home. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'll hit him for you, Brooke. I'll hit him. <laughs> Listen, I, me too, okay? I have never been to an Armenian restaurant, but baby, I am making up for lost time today, okay? Let me tell you, I absolutely am. I am here with Rosalie Chalaki, and your family has owned this restaurant for nearly 40 years, and... Oh, Let's just get right to the food Let's first. Get Let's get right to the food. What do we, what, what do we have behind us? So we have our amazing eight-foot grill. We've got boiled tomatoes that we're grilling. We have chicken breast. We have filet mignon. We have um, our minced beef that we call lule kebab. We have our um, chicken breast. This is actually a specialty kebab, um, this one with the, with the eggplant. It's called Urfa kebab. It comes from the region of Urfa, um, which is now, I guess, currently Turkey, but used to be Armenia. Um, and uh, so the minced beef with the eggplant, and also we have here the filet mignon, which is the chunks of um, chunks of beef. There's some, there's some, yes. you, and this food is not ready yet, but you have food that is ready. I would like to go and get to that, if that's okay. Can you lead the way? Yes, I want to see. Let's do so it. So while we're walking, yes. tell me, you know, what does this restaurant mean to the community, to you, to your family? I mean, the restaurant is everything for us. It's our culture. It's our tradition. Um, it's, you know, it's our love. It's our livelihood. And it gives us so much pride to be able to grow every year um, and expose our culture and our tradition to non-Armenians. What do you think this means to the people in the community? Because obviously this is a huge restaurant. One of two is packed in here all the time. It is. It is packed here all the time. We work very hard. We have a hardworking staff. Um, you know, our food is uh, served family style, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a dance. You know, yeah. you're you're sitting there, you're eating, you're talking, you're drinking. It's 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 an event, mm -hmm. and it's a happy event. It's a happy. Event. It's a happy event, and it's a celebration. We have people coming here that celebrate birthdays and engagements and proposals. So it's it's a good time. It really is. So speaking of a good time, let's yeah. let's have a good Good time okay <laughs> let's have a good time what are, what are we going with here okay okay we're gonna have a good time okay see so you, you you guys are having a different time and um i'm sorry about that but uh we are gonna have a good time here i'm gonna taste some of this I, this is this is my kind of uh, work day aroxia tony well, actually, Maria. i'm hoping oh, that aroxia. you can we're such big fans of aroxia oh. thank you this big fans of you i haven't been there for um since pre-covid so i definitely need to go we should all go and maria and i have to go yeah we should all go brooke I uh, eat fast and then if you can I'm hurry back. I'm for you all right Hurry now, back okay? because there's a ton of food that uh, keeps getting delivered here. That's hurry. right. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Brooke, you're not the only one who there's gets to eat. So okay? much food here. So right much. Now. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I've been doing these pieces, right? Yeah. One of the pieces that you're about to see when we come back is about Kirk Kakorian. Do you know who Kirk Kakorian is? He was a big time businessman, big time philanthropist. He is credited with building the mega resort in Vegas. He came up with the concept. His legacy and what he did for the community goes beyond just making money.